lillahi wa jami'i ma hamidihi kulliha ma alimtu minha wa ma lam a'lam ala jami'i namihi kulliha ma alimtu minha wa ma lam a'lam ala khalqihi kullihi ma alimtu minhu wa ma lam a'lam wa ashhadu an la ilaha illallah al wahidu fi uluhiyati wal ahadu fi rububiyyatih wa ashhadu anna sayyidana muhammadar rasulullah al wahidu fi shahadatihi wal awhadu fi za'amatihi allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala asyrafil khalq sayyidina muhammad ar rasulul khatim lil islam wa za'im al jami' lil muslimin Allah sallallahu min Allah ilmi wa rahmati wa barakatuh alaina wa alaikum wa ala sa'iri ibadillahi salihin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh so alhamdulillah welcome to all of you to the ikulia of uh, moral and ethics in islam okay conducted by uh, the mosque of angulia inshallah so uh, this moral and ethics okay like i said we are reading the book of uh, beginning of guidance from al imam abu hamid al ghazali okay from imam al ghazali himself so we are still at the chapter of from sunrise to midday okay uh, inshallah today i will complete the question okay i will complete answering the question of what should you do after praying duha all right so for the last three sessions okay i have uh, shared with you the first thing that we should do in following the guidance of uh, the building of guidance okay from uh, imam abul hamid al ghazali the first thing is to seek beneficial knowledge and it means okay to improve yourself inside out okay and according to the quran and the hadith of sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay that's the first one the second one is to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when i say worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do zikir to do to read al quran to do tasbih to pray to uh, selawat and of course this uh, th- second thing to do is suitable for especially uh, those who have no work uh, okay, uh, currently no work or those who don't have the energy to like for example to seek knowledge or to go out for work then i believe that the second uh, thing or the second uh, action is actually ben- uh, more suitable for you and that's the beautiful thing of this uh, the answer or the guidance by al-imam al-ghazali uh, which doesn't only give you one option meaning that after duha you can do four things okay and the third thing that you can do is isalul khair meaning that to give goodness to bring kindness to bring goodness to people Okay, so the third alhala tu talisa, the third situation, the third possible way, antas tagila bima tu silubihi khairan ilal muslimin, and to spend your time in working on something that bring benefits to Muslim, and of course the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, the best of you, okay, the best of people, okay, are those who are beneficial to people itself. Alright, so anfa'ukum lin nas. Okay, the best of you is anfa'ukum lin nas, meaning that the best of you is the the most beneficial ones to mankind. Alright, and when you do good things to people, okay, what do what 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 is the effect of it? Watu de khilu min husururan ala kulubil mu'minin, and you actually insert. Okay, you actually you actually bring happiness to the hearts of the believers. Or to yassir, or to yassiru bihi al-amal al-salih al-salihin. Or you bring make it easier for righteous people or for people generally, okay, uh, to do good things. Meaning that oh, I cannot I cannot do like for example, I don't I don't have a big business to actually uh, give to others. Okay, I don't have a big organization, but what I can do is I can volunteer. What I can do is I can settle some easy stuff. Okay, for example, I can transport, I can drive, so I can drive the people who are going to do voluntary work. Okay, to the place that they wanted to do. So the small stuff that you can do to ease people's uh, effort or to ease people's uh, hardship. Okay, so. For example, kahid matil fukaha wa sufiya al muhakkikin wa ahli din wa taradud fi ashghalihim. For example, serving the juris, serving the scholars, serving the sufi, okay, or the men of religion, taking care of their errands and striving to bring uh, food. Okay, so 
you helping them so that you they are easier for them to do good things to people. So meaning that even though you are not doing good things to people uh, directly, you are doing it indirectly. Alright? وَسَعِي فِي طَعَامِ الْفُقَرَاءِ وَالْمَسَاكِينَ For example also, you strive to bring food to the poor and needy. وَتَرَدُّدْ عَلَى الْمَرْضَى بِالْعَيَادَةِ Okay, so for, uh, to make a habit of visiting the sick, meaning that if you have a friend, you know, oh, uh, he is sick, oh, he is uh, in the hospital, you make the effort to actually do a uh, visit. Of course, but of course, in this COVID situation, if you are sick yourself, okay, don't go visiting others. Okay. Wa alal jana is bitash Okay, and. Escorting funerals, meaning that you know that oh, there's someone uh, that are close to me, that there's someone who I know who already passed away. So thus, I go to visit their funeral and help what you can, okay, and uh, give uh, ta'ziyah to his family or her family. So all of this, what Al Imam Al Ghazali said, "Fakulu dalika afdal min al nawafil," and all of this are superior to your voluntary act of worship. For example, you salat duha. Salat duha is one of the voluntary act. You you do uh, salat tarawih. You do uh, fasting of sunnah. Okay, helping people. Okay, according to Imam Al Ghazali himself, is actually more superior in terms of reward, in terms of stature. Okay, than uh, uh, praying. Okay. So this shows the importance, the big reward, okay, of doing goodness, to do kindness, and especially in this day and age where there's a lot of oppression, there's a lot of injustice. It is very easy to do bad things to people, and it's very easy for bad things to happen to us. I still believe that being kindness is the way to go, and this is what the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam already. Advise us more than 1,400 years ago Be kind To be gentle And there's a lot, lot, lot of hadith Of sallallahu alayhi wasallam Emphasizing on being good On being kind Even though Even though You are being oppressed Even though You you are being like For example You are being shamed by others Mistreated by others Misjudged by others The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said Be kind Alright فَإِنَّ هَذِهِ عِبَادَاتٌ وَفِيهَا رِفْقٌ بِالْمُسْلِمِينَ Why is it superior to the acts of sunnah, the acts of worshipping, nawafil, okay, to do nawafil, to do your uh, acts of worship which is sunnah? Why is it better? Because helping people itself is an ibadah, to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to obey the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And in that ibadah, you are helping people. You are uh, you are you give, you, you lighten their burden. Okay? So, here, I urge all of us, okay, to always be kind to others. So, I will want to share with you a hadith of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam on this, that maybe with this hadith, okay, we are more motivated for us to do good things to others. Okay? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Inna min ahabbil a'mali ila Allah ida khali surur ala qalbil mu'min." The the most beloved action, okay, to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, is to instill to bring happiness to a heart of a, of a believer, to a heart of a human. Alright, or wa an yufarij anhu ghaman and to relieve him. Of what of his concern, for example, his concern of oh, I don't have a job, you give him a job. Oh, I'm uh, I'm very concerned of my well-being, so you help him in maybe exercising, maybe uh, taking care of his, of his diet, of his health. So you help him, okay, so that he is relief. Or maybe you cannot do anything, you are just beside him, you are you are with him in his time of trouble. Or he have a uh, like uh, debt, so you help to settle his debt, okay? Or you time who minju, or maybe he is poor, or he is very 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 hungry with no money, so we give him food so that he is actually happy. So all of this, 
instill happiness. Aren't you happy if you are uh, your 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 needs are settled? Aren't you happy if your debts are settled? Aren't you happy if you are full or you are not hungry anymore? Okay. So thus, the best one of the best acts is actually to do good things to instill happiness to others. All right. And lastly, okay. And lastly, before we end. Uh, the fourth thing that we can do is actually to search for income for our family. Okay, meaning that to do work, uh, okay, like how we did. And that is beautiful that it is included here. Okay, meaning that there are four things that you can do. First is to seek beneficial knowledge. Second is to do ibadah. Third is to do good things, which is also an ibadah, but more specific in doing good things to others. And lastly is al-iktisab wa hifzuddin, meaning to earn your living so that you don't hurt others and to protect your religion, meaning that you don't do anything to hurt other people. Okay. So the fourth state okay, is to earn a living to take care of yourself and your family. And you do this in such a way that Muslims are safe from your tongue and your hand. And your religion is safe. Because when you are busy doing good work, okay, you are earning your income to others. You are actually not committing sins, you are not hurting people, you are just minding your own business. In this way, okay, when you do good things, when you do earn your living, <coughs> Uh, you will reach the level of the people of the right, okay. Even if you cannot be of those who rise to the level of the forerunners, okay, uh, or the scholars, lah. Okay, so meaning that earning a living, okay, is also is also actually encouraged by Allah and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, the evidence, okay, uh, the hadith of sallallahu alaihi wasallam from uh, about earning your living. Okay, is the Prophet Sallallahu said he sweat on by him in whose hand is my soul. If one of you were to carry a bundle of firewood on his back and sell it to others, that would be better for him than begging a man who may or may not give him anything. This shows that earning a living, okay, doing your work for others, okay is actually better than for you from you begging others for help begging others for money because when you work you have the earnings you can actually do good things after that and when you have your you are financially uh, stable you actually can do ibadah more freely and you can also seek beneficial knowledge inshallah so that's a recap okay what should you do after salat or duha four things you can do First is to seek beneficial knowledge And when I say seek beneficial knowledge Means to seek knowledge That actually improve yourself Zahiran wa batina Outside of you And also inside of you And it can be uh, in, uh, And it must be from the Quran And the hadith of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Improving yourself every day Every day, every day Okay. And second is to do worship To do ibadah okay, To Allah SWT And uh, examples of the ibadah is zikir to recite the Quran, to do tasbih, and to pray, and also to do salawat to Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Third is to do good things to others. It is halus surur to instill happiness, to bring happiness to people with your action. And the action it can be a lot. It can be there are many examples of the actions. And lastly, to earn a living. And when you earn your living, you are actually doing a uh, a good thing rather than begging others and also when you do uh, when you earn your living you don't hurt others and thus protecting your religion so that's inshallah that is uh, the four things that you can do okay that is encouraged for you to do okay uh, after salatul duha okay so if you do any of these four things inshallah you will be rewarded by Allah and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so that's uh, I hope that this session is beneficial for you. Okay, and if it is beneficial for you, you can share. And I end it with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.